Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and today I am here in my mother-in-law's living room. We are going to decorate for Christmas and surprise her hopefully when she comes home. I am hoping that we can get a beautiful winter wonderland tree up to surprise her when she gets home. Hi Oma, I decided to try and do this while you're out and surprise you when you get back. I hope this will just be a beautiful surprise for you when you get home. Anyway, both of us went to Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago and we picked up some beautiful pastel greens that I think are going to go so pretty with the decor in the room and also for that really just soft pastel frosty winter wonderland look and feel if you're looking for something that's like a little bit brighter with a little more pops of color I decorated with my sister last year for winter wonderland theme we did snowy flocked with red berries and pops of red in there so if that's something you want to check out I'll leave a link down below for you if you do enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up let me know and let's get decorating Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. So guys, this is what we picked up in Hobby Lobby. So super gorgeous. So I got a bunch of those. Or I shouldn't say a bunch. I got a few. A lot of these pieces, I only pick up like three or five. Um, sometimes I will get seven if I think I'm going to alternate them through the tree and then also stick some like up in the top of the tree to make a tree topper out of. This, I'm not sure what I'm doing. $5.99, 40% off. And this is just like a snowy eucalyptus. And then to coordinate with that, I also picked up some of these berries, which are also really frosty and beautiful. You know that we're going with the silver theme in here as well. They are $2.99, 40% off. So I mean, honestly, it's just a little bit more money for something like this than what it would be in Dollar Tree. So now this is that color that I was telling you about. It is such a beautiful pastel color. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get started on decorating. Now would be a great time to add in any extra lights that you want to add into your tree or to add ribbon if you're going to do that. I honestly don't remember if and that is why I buy shatterproof ornaments. Well, anyway, let's try some things and see what looks good. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is I love taking some of the random larger size ornaments And sticking them in like this And you can choose to hang these Or even just stick some of them in Also wanted to show you guys these ornaments. My mother-in-law saw these and she really loved these. These ornaments came, I believe, in a four-piece pack last year at Walmart. So look for them there. I don't remember the price, but I do remember thinking that it worked out to be pretty comparable, I think, to Dollar Tree ornaments. Something else I try to do is if I have an ornament like this, which I think this is really pretty and unique, but I think I only have maybe one of these. So for something like that, I'm going to try to put it somewhere in the front of the tree so that it's going to be a little bit more visible. So how about right here? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's get some lights on. Yay! Now we can see what we are doing in here. Looking good. Let me give you a Christmas. Okay, so I've probably showed you guys this before, but I always take these and then bend them out. Not enough to break them, but just like a little bit, just to kind of fan them a little bit out. And then what I have been doing lately is I kind of feel like when you have a pine tree, if the tree branches are kind of going like out and up a little bit, I kind of like how it looks to bend your pick a little bit like this. And now the berries, that branch didn't work. 
somewhere where you have like a little bit of stability. So this way I have it coming out of the tree on a little bit of an upward angle and you'll see that these are all coming out a little bit upward. You could have them coming out downward as well but I'm going to try them with an upward angle right now and see how that looks and I may come back and bend them down a little bit more if it looks like it's going to be coming out too much on an upward angle. What do you guys think? Do you like it where it's kind of going upward like that? Or do you feel like this should be maybe more like this? We could angle it coming downward from the tree. I mean, that could look pretty good too. I think you can go up or down with it. Now, my favorite thing about large pieces like this big poinsettia flower, first of all, it's so pretty because it's like a velvety material with that touch of glam on there, the sparkle and glitter. But you know what? When you have like a hole in your tree like this, a little gap in the branches, or maybe this spot where like the ribbon meets, you can add a flower in like that and it's all going to just come together. I'm gonna add in this little silver angel, which I'm trying to think where I got her from. I have to use one of these large poinsettias. This is going to be so perfect up in the top. It's just going to really fill it up. Maybe I'm gonna use two actually. I like the size of them. And then let's just go ahead and stick some extra berries and stuff up in the top. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I love the way that looks. Maybe we will go ahead and try one of these silver ones because we can fan it out. It makes a great accent with your topper if you're doing like a floral kind of, it's almost like a star, right? I love being creative with this and just mixing it up and doing something really fun and fresh, really pretty and unique up in the top of the tree. Okay, so choices, choices right now. These are like a medium sized ball and I'm not sure which ones I wanna add in. These might be a little bit more interesting just because I do have a lot that have silver designs already. So I have these other ornaments. I was deciding what I wanted to do. These are $13.99, 40% off. Um, they're both very large. Thankfully, they are shatterproof. Um, this one is white, but it's almost like a frosted glass. Isn't this ornament beautiful? I love that. So these are the only glass ones. You can see it says right here, handcrafted glass. These are the only glass ones that we picked up to put in the tray. My mother-in-law just really liked these and we thought the colors were gonna be so good. Um, so I am going to save this box. I stuck like a little 10 cent snowflake in here. I think is it like 10 per dollar at Dollar Tree? Oh, 